What's up gamers? Old School Fool here. Okay, not really. This is actually Joey R from the Dust Reviews team. And I will be giving you a review of the new UFC Undisputed 2010. Since Old School Fool don't really know the difference between an arm bar and a maple bar, I will be giving you all the info you need before making your purchase. Have you ever just wanted to see what it's like to be a fighter without the pain of actually getting hit? Well, here's your chance. Once again, THQ and UFC have released their revamped sequel to the hit UFC Undisputed 2010. Right away, we see that, that the game's features have been increased across the board with new moves, animation, fighters, clinch mechanics, and even new fight modes like tournament mode, title mode, title defense, and even event mode. So for the story mode of the game, I jumped right into career mode and I was instructed to create a calf, which confused me at first, but then I later found out that it stood for create a fighter. As I got in, I was given thousands of options for my calf, such as facial structure, hairstyle, tattoos, scars, toenail color, and cauliflower ear. Okay, maybe not the last two, I think, but there was a lot of options. As you start off, you get an amateur fight with some tomato can, which I seriously KO'd within a few punches to the grill. From there, you're given the option to go pro, which I did, and start off in the Zufa owned league WFA, also known as the World Fight Alliance. Even here, the fighters weren't really a challenge as I made quick work of about six guys before Dana White showed up at my training gym asking me to join the UFC. My calf, you can imagine, was very excited. My first fight in the UFC was against Joe Luzon, and I was destroyed quickly when Luzon slapped on a Kimura in seconds. I realized then that you cannot mess around with the UFC fighters, you must be completely well rounded. In my case I was focused on stand up and ground and pound and paid for it. Which brings me into the training. It is definitely not the same as 2009. The options have been made further in depth. You now have two types of sparring, either focus training, which is where you focus on only one facet of your skills, or you could do free sparring, where you just see how much you could beat the crap out of your CPU training partner. The training mode is relatively the same, with your choice of strength, speed, and stamina training, and all at different intensities. You must also watch your fighter's fatigue, as he will injure now if you do not rest him. If you do not take your time with your training decisions, it will adversely affect the gameplay. So if you're not ready to do a lot of reading, decision making between every single fight in career mode, then maybe career mode is not for you. Now even without the career mode, the game is an impressively polished piece of artwork. From the sweat to the realistic models to the damage taken on the body from hits, this game gets down to detail on MMA. I give the game a 94% for its amazing graphics. I only subtracted the 6% really because of the tedious training involved in, in the calf career mode. One would argue this gives the game realism, true, but it takes away from the fun factor. So there you have it. If you want more news on gaming and tech, then come check us out at dosreviews.com. And if you're looking to buy the lowest price for this game, you gotta check out doscheap.com.